have to do as much work as I thought maybe I would have to do because they're mm-hmm. newcomers because they were so prepped yeah. that uh, they were just flowing. So uh, it was surprising and I mean they were like pros. Women that are represented correctly or all kinds of women that are represented. There's no one type of, of way to be. Uh, uh, it doesn't mean that you have to be a modern career oriented woman and yeah. that only should be represented or you should be uh, just a, a, a quiet housewife. No, there has to be a like the world is. Archie, I think I like his innocence. Uh, maybe he's a bit insensitive to the women in his life. Mm. I don't like that. I think Augusta had a lot of Archie questions. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Rudrani, and welcome to Zoom Speak. Easy, my guests today are extremely talented. They are women who change the narrative of way female characters are written and also male. They did content that was in its own way path breaking and they also had so much fun while doing it. I'm of course talking about the very talented Pima Karthi and Zoya Akhtar. Thank you for joining in. Thanks for having us. Show. I think I meant every word, of course. It wasn't like you all planned to meet, right? I remember there's this meet story that I had read about how you all were auditioning for a role. Am I right, Zoya? Yeah. How do you look at that though? Now that I take you back to on the first meet of both of you. This industry is uh, uh, quite tiny. You do e- e- end up crossing yeah, paths. Sure. Uh, what we were doing and at the time that we were doing it, we were assistant directors that were not, uh, that were working freelance. It wasn't something that was done before. So it was uh, it was going bound to happen. Uh, I think uh, we really lucked out because it's very, very difficult to find uh, a writing collaborator. Uh, I mean, we're talking only about careers. Of course, we are friends and we yeah. would be and we all have the same gang and all that. But as a career thing, I think uh, to find somebody that you can write with is quite rare. That you can jam with is quite rare. That brings different things to the table. Uh, but at the same time, there's some kind of common ground yeah. and sensibility is rare. And I think we got lucky there. What about you? Also, well, like between the two of you, you all had some of the most celebrated films. It, and most of them are done with at the box office, even the ones that haven't are still talked about. So, a little on that. Well, I mean, I think what uh, Zoya said, you know, the uh, pool of ADs at that point was very small. And if we hadn't met on this film, we would have met on the other film. Yeah. And I think knowing her, knowing me, we would have started uh, collaborating. So, so it, it would, it, uh, yeah, I think it was bound to happen as opposed to, yeah, that's, I guess, what destiny is. Yeah. You know, Zoya has mentioned this and I met her the last time as well, that this is not something that you'd have ever thought you'd be doing, right? Uh, particularly, you know, making Archie's the iconic comic book and then making it into a film when you're approached for it. Because both of you are also known to take up subjects um, that also try in, in different ways to do um, very important social messaging in between. So, you know, y'all are known to be, have found that balance between entertainment and, um, you know, uh, social messaging. And this, I think, was going to be a completely different zone for the two of you. So I want to know how you all thought you could do. Like in the beginning, like you said, you were not sure. So I want to know what were the discussions happening then to the point where you thought like, no, maybe we can bring our own brand of thinking into this and create something novel, even though it's iconic. I don't think we would have taken it on only if we didn't uh, crack that and think that we can bring uh, uh, our sensibility to it. So that we, we wouldn't have come far with that if it hadn't excited us. I mean, on the surface, it's both of us loved the comic book. So it was a great opportunity to, you know, relive that, uh, 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 that childhood, that part of your childhood and to be able to capture that in a way. Uh, the challenge was, uh, how do we keep the, the original names, the original essence, the original characters and put them in India? Uh, but whatever we do, who we are is going to come into that. So that wasn't, uh, that's not uh, up for debate. Yeah, for me, I think it was, A, like we are saying, we're, we're both fans. We grew up reading Archie, but Archie is a huge international American IP. Yeah. And for it to come to us and to, for us to be able to make the first feature film based on Archie was like next level. Tell me the things that you questioned in the original Archie's while you were writing the story for this question then you thought was hmm because you know it's a comic today we're in a world that we try to do everything uh, with the right sensibility you know with and all of that you have to look at it like that i mean and uh, you have to look at everything like that i mean uh, i find it uh, crazy that people want to change uh, 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 stories 
like i've heard that uh, you know very very famed authors their stories are being yeah. uh, altered now mm. because uh, uh, it doesn't suit the present yes. time and, uh, but but that, that it that it belongs to that time sure. and that was the era and that was the world and that was the lens mm. and it, it 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 tells you about that era so if you change it now you will never learn, know what happened so i think you have to look at it that way i don't think you can look at it and judge it i mean mm. now things are different and therefore you'll adapt it yeah. but uh, I, I can't i i can't judge our cheese i mean i'm a fan never like no, we no, didn't judge, judge not we judge. didn't judge but definitely yeah. without giving you know, i can't tell you too much because yeah, sure. yeah. don't want to give you spoilers but yes there were things that uh, say when we were kids you wouldn't question and today we did and we've dealt with them in a certain way 100% 100% no of course yeah. Yeah, fair enough. That would be getting into the storyline of it. When the announcement for Gila Zara came in, I thought finally we have a story about women just having fun on a holiday. When because when you gave Zindagi, we were all like, I hope that happens with women. So when I saw that happening and I saw your involvement, I was excited. Tell me, I hope a what is your uh, you know idea to the fact that we need to have more films like that where we show these women having fun and just being themselves and having. just like imperfect messy characters which you have created in your world as well i think we need, I, i think we need to have more good films mm. i think we should start there yeah i think we need to have more good films i think we need to have films <laughs> like with a like a better more rounded characters mm. uh, and different experiences and different kinds of films uh, all kinds of films mm. so yes uh, part of that is having uh, uh, women that are represented correctly or uh, all kinds of women that are represented there's no one type of a way to be uh, uh, it doesn't mean that you have to be a modern career oriented woman and yeah. that only should be represented or you should be uh, just a, a, a quiet housewife no there has to be a, like the world is there are all kinds of people and all kinds of people should be celebrated good people and good films yeah so that is please tell us that you all are excited in this happening yeah i mean the yeah. attempt i think has been to write rounded characters as opposed to messy characters sure you know in that sense and i yeah, think because you're trying to be you you know people are like that nobody is fully good or fully bad absolutely everybody has all kinds of uh, shades of gray so we tell us that is happening And please make me happy. Yes, uh, yes. When the dates align, that's the answer. Thankfully, but you know, coming back to the world that we're here right now, tell me what surprised you most in the casting that you've done. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, you're known for casting the right people. You're very particular about it in the past as well. Uh, I think uh, uh, you look for uh, talent. You sure. look for some kind of. Uh, Uh, acting ability mm. some kind of uh, being able to access emotion being able to perform it you look for talent uh, and uh, you look for um, truth when you audition someone are they honest in that performance and you look for the essence of the character that you're trying to cast for mm. within that personality within the personality of sure. the actor so when those align you're okay is there anything particular about the casting that you've done that stands out to you i Any was cast surprised cast. that i didn't on set have to do as much work as i thought maybe i would have to do because the mm-hmm. newcomers because they were so prepped yeah. that uh, they were just flowing so uh, it was surprising and i mean they were like pros so i didn't really have to work that much on set with them okay fair enough that was a surprise that was a surprise what about yeah. you Rima? is this something yeah, you I observed mean- Uh, yeah, I, I think that I was, you know, because when you're uh, making a film schedule, things like that are really yeah. important. So it did cross my mind that, you know, Zoya's got an ensemble of uh, young people who are doing, you know, apart from me here, I think all of them are doing this for the first time. Mm. So I was a bit concerned, like, is, is this going to affect us? But not. They flew. They flew. Yeah. One character that you like about... the archies guys like I mean, one i like all of them to start with but like let's yeah. say archies chuck head like the characters okay. in the comics one quality that you truly admire even even when you're reading it and one thing that you're like not so much so archie i think i like his innocence uh maybe he's a bit insensitive to the women in his life mm. i don't like that uh jughead i just love because he's jughead um what i don't like about him is maybe he doesn't put on weight and i do <laughs> in spite of how much he eats right yeah. uh then there's uh, betty yeah who is uh, very sweet and grounded and therefore everybody but i think that 
what I don't like about her, she maybe doesn't stand up for herself enough. Yeah. Yeah. Reggie, I uh, love his sense of humor. I maybe don't like how cocky is in the original comics and maybe we've taken care of that a little bit. Yeah. And who, who am I missing? Ethel. Uh, I love her teeth from the original comics. Yeah, but I agree. Yeah, I, I think it's... Um, it was very her. She just yeah. it. But I also love her uh, devotion to Jughead, yeah. who has no time for her. Mm. And what I don't like about her is maybe similar to Betty, she should stand up for herself. And Dilton, I just love. There's nothing not to like about him. I love these observations. What about you, Sarah? Uh, I think they kind of cover. I, I, I don't. Pretty much uh, the same thing. Yeah, I don't have a. I would like that. this about the character. I okay. don't have that. You've completely sort of dissociated all of that yeah. and, and done it, yeah. which is very interesting, I think. But great observations. I think many of them, even I feel like in, in that zone. But uh, tell me what is very important for you, Zoya, when you're creating this world of Archie's. What were your own do's and don'ts? I know every creator has things that you write down and know like whenever i read it it was like an escape to an ideal fictional place yeah. and i wanted to create that ideal fictional place i wanted like uh, a sense of idealism sure. which was also uh, a rem uh, reminiscent of the 60s there was an idealism uh, there was a, so i wanted that feeling of like when you watch it it's like i want to be here mm -hmm. you know um Th that's it. I think that was the biggest do okay. <laughs> on it. You know? Did you have something? Do you have uh, do's and don'ts when you are making, especially in a world like this? Not, not. But like uh, on Archie specifically, sure. I think it was like you were saying, there is something very idyllic about a fictional place sure. and uh, a whole thing of going back to a time that's simpler. So, yeah. In the recent you obviously spoke about um, how the world. Is it looks at this entire conversation about casting star kids, and you very correctly also pointed out that the world looks at this conversation from its own lens and has been encouraging it. So why is the world not talking enough about the rest of the other three kids, right? But on the set, when you see them, they were always that unit. Was it difficult for you to have that conversation also with them? Honestly, I think we never yeah. thought of prepping them because we didn't think this would be the reaction when we presented seven people in a, mm. uh, you know, in the initial trailer. I think you should, yeah, speak to them. So you should speak to them how they felt yeah. about it. I hope they do. Unfortunately, we're not getting it this time around, which is why the question for you are. But maybe post. I really want to know because I think the, the right point was raised by the two of you. Um, but on that note, we will end it at a fun note. Okay, I'm going to tell statements um, that happens around the set or otherwise, and you'll have to take the names of the cast members, okay, and tell me who fits the situation the best. I'm going to go with Rima first and then Zoya. So please give different answers. All right, are you ready? Yes. I okay, am. the one who's always before time on set. From the Archie's kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of no, course I the, can't. Zoya, I'll have to tell you. This is a Zoya. Between the two of you, yeah, anybody okay. can answer it. Okay, fair enough. The one who's always before time on set. Uh, I think. Before time, who reached early? I think the boys. I think they got to set early. Yeah. All of them? Yeah, yeah. I think the boys well got to done. Set early. The ones who asked the most questions. Uh, me. Okay. The one who the least takes. It depends. You can't depends. like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends. Okay. The one you thought had always the most questions about Archie's, like, is a true blue Archie's fan. I think Augusta had a lot of Archie questions. Yeah. 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 The one you thought, I'm sure this will be many, the ones you thought who were always impeccably dressed and very in their character. You know, with their own dressing sense also, like when you carry, like I know a lot of people see like they I carry I think who forward. just stayed most in his character was Vedan. He did? Yeah. So he was really ready for a really long time? Yeah, I mean, he was quiet in his character. Yeah. Okay, I love that. Okay, on that note, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. This has been fun. Thank um, you. I think it's really interesting to see what you have done with this world and I love the trailer in it. Thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for Thank doing you. the movies you do. Thank you.